morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Disassembly 3D, the ultimate stereoscopic destruction game. This is a really cool game, I found it on Steam and it's a, you get all these objects like an engine or a car or a phone or some secrets that I'm going to leave for the actual video, but you're able to take apart piece by piece, like take off all the little bits and pieces off a car and then watch the whole thing fall apart, it's really fascinating. I, there's not a whole lot to it, just disassembling things, but then if you disassemble the entire thing, you get a bomb and you can blow up the whole thing then later. It's cool! Um, so you get all these different things like a side table, a lamp, a speaker, a pocket knife, microscope, antique car. Let's start off with something simple so we get the basis of it. A speaker! For the- for the audio file that I am. Um, you have all these different things. They have a 3D mode, where you can see different versions of 3D, but the default is like, wiggle. Which is supposed to be like that. Have you ever seen any of those GIFs where they wiggle and it looks like it's actually it has depth to it and it kind of freaks you out? It's kind of freaky guys, not gonna lie. So this thing has 48 parts in it. So you have to take apart all the little different things. It's probably not a good one to start with because there's not a lot of destruction to this. It's just me taking off tiny little pieces. <laughs> there's something therapeutic about it though. Watching the whole thing come apart. It's like reverse IKEA furniture building. It's like that game, Home Improvisation. It's like that, but backwards. Where I have to take uh, the furniture is all together and I have to figure out how I take it apart. Good god, look at all these fucking screws. Jesus. Ah, oh, yeah. Now we start taking bits apart. Now we start taking the good shit out. Nice. Very nice. Wait. Was this thing attached? Aha! Uh -huh. There's more! There we go. That's how it tricks you. There's more pieces stuck together. Get away from that! Why can I not move you? There we go. Get off that! I don't care. See? And normally it's like, oh, this thing actually has more parts in it, but then you get to the point where it's like, where? Where are the fucking parts? Oh god, so tedious. Oh, look at all the electricals. Electricals. All the little electricals. Can I take this out? There we go. 15 parts left. Okay, I have no idea where all these parts are. I'm basically at the end. Get off! Get off the bottom of that! Here we go. It's all apart. It's all apart and there's still four parts. Where? Where are these four parts? Tell me. Ah, look at you. Do you, do you have extra bits? No. Is it in you? Are you the extra parts? Oh my god. Really? One, two, three, and... Four. There! We did it! Jesus Christ, that was tedious. But you know what the best part is? Now that I have finished the level, I don't have to do that again. Because I can just drop the bomb on it. <laughs> Boom! Nice, wait, do that again. Do that again. That wasn't that wasn't good enough. Gotta drop the bomb. There, now it sits on it, so you get the satisfaction of watching it just be here, and then I can pick that up and put it in different places and put it down here, and then BOOM! Yeah! <laughs> okay, that, that was that, that was that was a little shitty one because I just wanted to show off what the mechanics of the game were. Let's move on to something a bit bigger and a bit better. Robot saves bicycles. A house. Ah okay. It's time for my expert mechanic uh, skills to go to work. There we go. You see, well, <sighs> See, all this shit is in your way. That's why your car's broken. It's like, see, God, there's your problem. Fucking kids with their suicide doors these days. They don't know what to do with them. Look at this. You see this? Shoddy craftsmanship. Shoddy, shoddy, shoddy. They just don't build them like they used to. Back in my day, a car was for life. You bought a car and you knew it would get you from A to B to C and all the way to your grave. Back into the hospital bed. It would even drive you to the hospital. These days, nah, it's all about Lamborghinis and Teslas and... I don't know, what's the world come to? Yeah, you see this? You see this right here? It's not supposed to be there. These are not supposed to be on cars. The these are actually for boats. You're not supposed to have these. Yeah, oh, all of your shit. It's just, it's all broken. It's all broken. Wait, can you... It still drives! Maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, oh Jesus, it's on fire. Well, there's your problem. Seats. You don't need seats. Just stand in your car from now on. 
Just just go to the car store and get a buy a standing one. Here you go. Ah, all these pedals. They're not even pedals, they're just fish slice spatulas. So you're not gonna be able to drive around with those in your car, are you? No, where do you where do, where are we even thinking about going with this thing? So many it's just falling apart. This is not a well-rounded car. Look. Look. See? Just came right off. It's just terrible. It's terrible. Your whole car is falling apart. This stuff is all supposed to stay on the car. I don't know why it's not. Let me get a look at the underside of you. Yep. Yeah. Oh. There's just a bunch of shit down here as well. Don't worry. I'm going to fix your car. I'm going to make it better than it ever was. It's going to run way smoother once Jack's done with it. You're, you're going to wonder if it's even the same car anymore because it's going to be so different by the end. In a good way. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, we're good. We're reaching good potential now. Uh, you're gonna need a whole new set of wheels. Okay, these ones are bad. De these are actually, uh, snow wheels. You're, you weren't supposed to be using these on the road. Yeah, very, very bad. Yeah. I'm giving it a new look. I'm giving this car the, um, the I parked in the wrong neighborhood look. Very stylish. Very fashionable. Not a lot of upkeep. It's actually easy to keep the car in this condition for a very long time. Almost no maintenance towards it. Insurance is good. I'm gonna give you a nice premium. I don't sell insurance, but for you, I will. There we go, there we go. This engine's bad. This is a bad engine. I've put together and took apart a few cars in my time. I know what works and what doesn't, okay? This is not supposed to be here. These are actually for sleds. I don't know why it's on a car. Um, but no, no, this is good. This is a good look. This is what you want. This is what you want. This is what all the kids are doing. How do you think you get those high speeds in the new Tesla Roadster? It's because you have to sacrifice a lot of the bulk. You gotta make the car faster to go faster. There was your biggest problem. You had a Magnemite inside your car. Pokemon don't go in car, they go in Pokeball. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking too good, is it? Um... Well, your problem now. I'm not even a mechanic. I don't even know why you brought it into me in the first place, really. Um, hopefully your insurance covers it, but no insurance. Oh, all right. Um, well, have a good day. Another day, another citizen that needs help. I mean, this one's a no-brainer. The windscreen's broken. At least that part's easy to fix. I oh, shit. So nothing. All right, I've intentionally saved the best for last. There's a lot of things in here, like trains and planes and skyscrapers, tanks and everything. Jeez, space stations, submarines, and everything. You can just you can disassemble a fidget spinner. My God, there's there's a lot of things. My favorite thing in the game, though, is none of those. It's the Titanic. You can actually disassemble the entire Titanic. I mean. There's 151 parts in it. I'm sure there was close to about 17 million of them in the real one, but it's fun because you can take apart. You can actually take apart the front and watch the whole thing sink. Are, are you actually going to sink? Are you sinking? I don't know if that's sinking. Okay, maybe. Okay, there we go. Now she's sinking. Now she's going. What a good boat! And then we'd be like, oh no! These ones have started to, to contract water! There's water all aboard! What are we gonna do, Captain? Yep. The unsinkable ship, my ass! Oh wait. Oh, Jack and Rose must have gotten off the front, that's good. I'm glad they got away. Okay, there's something kinda creepy about hearing the whole thing Wayne and buckle and everything, but with no sounds. Like that, but there's no ocean sounds, there's no people sounds, there's no nothing. This is actually kind of impressive. It's sinking like it would have. I wonder if it's going to break in half. Will the game actually allow that? Will it break in half and then the bottom will go up and down? Apparently that's what really happened to it. Which is crazy when you think about it. That a ship of that size broke in half in the ocean. Oh my god, it does! That's awesome! Whoa! The 
pipe all buckled and broke. Wait, are you all gonna slam down? I'm not removing parts though, I'm not doing it properly. Okay, you just landed. Cool. Still have 144 parts to take away though. And this actually sinks properly as well! <laughs> That's cool! I wonder if they programmed it that way. Or if, if it actually just follows proper physics. I don't think it would follow proper physics. I think there's a VR Titanic game as well where you can get in and walk around it and see it sinking and stuff like that. Or maybe... I saw a while ago somebody made it in the Unreal Engine where you could walk around the Titanic. I mean, I would have settled just for a game like this. Where you- where you sink the Titanic over and over again, with different variables. That would be a cool simulation to have. If you could get in and like throw rocks at it and... Throw bombs at it- well you can throw bombs at it, but I have to take apart all the pieces and I doubt I'm gonna be able to do that. It's probably like tiny little bits everywhere. Oh! There she goes! I'm fascinated by the Titanic. After seeing the movie when I was nine, I got a book talking all about how the the movie was made and the production and how like behind the scenes and just lore on the real Titanic. You're gonna crash into each other. I think it's fine. I think a bit of glue and you could just stick that back together. <laughs> but I, I would look up stuff about the Titanic ever since, and I'm just fascinated by the whole thing. Oh, dude, you can drive it into the iceberg! <gasps> oh! Now that's cool! Do the propellers actually go? Or is it just fake? They do! This is neat! I really like this! Okay, slam into that iceberg! Iceberg ahead! And then, well, technically they tried to turn it and slow it down and that kind of stuff, didn't they? I'm just driving straight in. Nice! Did it actually take a chunk off the front? It did! Just like it would have in real life! That's cool, and now the whole thing's gonna sink. Oh man, I thought this was gonna be a thing where you just like took bits off of it. I didn't know you could actually sink it properly. Oh, that's awesome! I wish it was way sp <gasps> I wish it was way speeding it up. Hold on. I think I might have found a way. Ah, <laughs> uh, there she goes. She broke in half again. Wait. You gotta lose the weight! <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. They're they're very heavy. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you can just tear whole chunks of it. Oh, the boats! We forgot to release the lifeboats! Go, people! Go! Man, women and children first! Hopefully you don't freeze to death out in the Atlantic. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't think she was ready to be born yet. We, that's, like, that's like when you need a C-section, but you don't give it. Okay, is this other piece still coming down? There we go. Ah, nice one! You might- okay. Okay. I need to start taking chunks off you. You might need to have- ah, crap. Hmm. Hmm, you're gonna muddy the- you're gonna muddy the pile. Now I don't know what parts I've done and what parts I haven't. Stop that! Oh, Christ! I guess that's one way of doing it, just slamming bits of it into itself. Here we go. Get rid of all that ass! Get rid of that ass! It's time for you to lose a bit of weight, Titanic. Okay. Now this is very confusing. I don't know what parts are what anymore. Oh god, you're all individual pieces. Okay, some of it is- some of it is actually- Can I just break you and have you float up and break all these? That would have been nice. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, really? The captain's wheel comes off? On its own? Does it? No. <laughs> what are you telling me it does if it doesn't? Okay, there we go. I'm almost there! We only have 44 parts left. I can do this! I'm telling you lads, this is how we get the Titanic off the bottom of the Atlantic. 
we just start taking chunks of it off. Okay, I can't, the steering wheel and everything is still there. They're just floating. Oh God, are you individual pieces? Okay, I think these were just, did you hear somebody going Like drowning sounds? Oh, please no. I think these were like throttle forward and back and then you could steer it yourself from the inside if you really wanted to. Ah, uh, have to get rid of the staircase. Sorry, sorry Kate Winslet, you can't come down anymore. Whole thing's fucked. This is what really went down. This is the ravages of the ocean. The Titanic sank. And then the ocean was just like, no, I don't want it. Get it out of here. It started freaking out and bits of it started flying everywhere and all the fish around were like, Jesus Christ, what's happening? And I was like, fucking Titanic, bro. Shit's crazy. Wait, why are you not individual bits on this one? Okay, nine parts left. Two parts? Really? Is this... Uh... Where are these two parts? Excuse me. Titanic wrecking crew come through. One part left. Okay, okay, it's somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. All I want for Christmas is two front teeth. Me two front teeth, yes, me two front teeth. Oh, oh, I did it! Yeah! I don't know what I hit, but I did it. Nice, that means I get to do, wait, first. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Oh shit! I didn't mean to explode it immediately! Okay, you put the bomb down first. Just leave the bomb there. The bomb's fine. The bomb's not hurting anybody. Are you just gonna explode once you hit it anyway? No. Why are you all slow? What's wrong with you? You gotta be all slow head going on. Okay, as soon as it hits the water. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, that's good. Oh, that's damn good. Very nice! It's raining Titanic! So that's- that's slow motion of 0% or 5% or something like that, but I can actually put it so that there's no slow motion on the bomb at all. And I can also pick up the bomb. Do whatever the fuck I want with it. Let's blow the face off this bitch. Nice! Do you think it'll sink? Unsinkable ship, meet immovable iceberg. Woo! Spectacular. That's Titanic 2, the sequel to Titanic. James Cameron's pulling out all the stops this time. Actually, Titanic 2 is going to be directed by Michael Bay. He's he's going to he's going to put a stamp on it this time. Um what happens if I put it Oh. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> what happens if I put it on the iceberg? <laughs> Can I destroy the iceberg? Oh. But that's my favorite bomb. Okay, here comes the Titanic barreling down the street just like, "Hey, I'm unsinkable. <laughs> Come on, try your best. We'll fucking try our best, Senor Titanic. Don't you even worry about that. As soon as you start to hit that iceberg. Oh no! Jesus Christ, iceberg ahead! And all the guys are like, oh. I didn't see that. I didn't see that the iceberg was explosive. I just said iceberg ahead. Oh, the captain's gonna be mad. Oh shit, iceberg! <laughs> Take that, you unsinkable bitch! Okay, well I'm gonna leave this video here. That was a ton of fun. I might come back and play more of this because there's so many other things you can destroy. Space stations, submarines, there's bombs, robots, planes. It's kind of a pain in the ass that you have to get to that to unlock the bomb. I feel like you should just have the bomb anyway. And you should get no score for using the bomb or something. I don't know. And then picking apart all the pieces could be a different thing. I don't even know why there is a score. I just like destroying shit. But it's cool that the Titanic actually works like the Titanic. And you can mess around with it that way. 
Okay, yeah, it seems like it just does the same thing every time. Regardless of where you blow it up. That's fine. It looks spectacular. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... High face on row. Thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! James Cameron's gonna be mad.